Hello and welcome back to 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. My name is Maybe Dennis. And last time we did Mira's route where we found out that he is able to go back to 1945, but all the people have disappeared. Apparently it's the um the system essentially took all the people and put them in storage, or that's how I'm understanding it. And we also found that his little sister, Chihiro, was abducted by Goto, only for her to regain her past memories. Now they're working together, and uh, Mira is not very happy about that because someone essentially kidnapped his sister. <laughs> and yeah, things are not going too well for him. And we also tackled Nenji's route, the time looping one, only to find out it's not a time loop. In fact, it was Ijiyama and Okino essentially strapping him down onto a chair and having him replay things in his mind in order to find the Daimos key. And eventually, he found that the key is in the possession of Natsume no Minami. And in order to not rat out Natsume no Minami, he had to go through another loop and have Yakushiji bail him out. So that was pretty interesting, but now we're locked. We have to do Shibugaki City. So what I am going to do instead is continue with Shu Amaguchi's. After a dream where he revived Tomiki Suragi as an AI, oh, we, we saw that before in the future, Shigamaguchi realized that Chihiro Mir uh, Morimura from his dream resembled Yuri Fuyusaka. All Let's right. head in. At the school hall. <sighs> we always seem to start here for Shigamaguchi. First, we met Mira and then. Touch Kisaragi. Okay. Oh, this is when he was like, whoa, you have a stomach. Nice. Anyways, um, Shu Amaguchi is one of the more interesting characters that, or at least one of the characters I'm more interested in at the moment due to the fact that, uh, he has like different, different, he has a different personality in Tetsuya Ida who had, uh, who really loved, um, Kisaragi. Although it seems like this timeline, he might be kind of shipped with Yuki Takamiya, I'm not really sure. Um, and like, Tetsuya Ida has done all sorts of stuff. Seems like he's really smart, he's able to make androids, as well as just, um, well we've seen like an older version of him where he is part of the SIU and whatnot, and essentially controlling, he's one of the people that knows the most in the background, uh, Ida Tetsuya, so I'm... I don't really know what to think of it, but Man, I'm, I'm very really curious. Off my game today. All these weird dreams must be getting to me. And that show that came on in the middle of the night. Oh yeah, he keeps getting stuff from Miyuki and Naba. And we actually saw at the last fight of Ashitaba City that Miyuki and Naba was actually crucial in uh, stopping the last wave or, or like stopping more from coming or something like that. But yeah, uh, we'll see how what leads what that leads up to. I don't know much about Miyuki and Naba. I really feel like she's Tomi Kisaragi because of Kisaragi singing and Usabi, Usabi, Usagi Rabbit, etc. So I don't really know at the moment, but I'm pretty sure. But there has been moments where it's made me Wish doubt my theory. Just a dream. Back in my dream, in my dream, her soul was in an android body. That's got to be the craziest feeling. What would it even be like not having a body of your own? Oh boy. I'm sure some people here would know. Please My Yuki Inaba's been hijacking the airwaves. Also, she can talk to me through the TV. She knows me somehow. Not just that. She says I'm the only one she can depend on. It's fate. F8, your fate. I'm still waiting for the punchline here. Man. Okay, the last time we touched Kisaragi, I met Miura. I forgot what Shu Amaguchi's lock was. Let's see, not on the right, maybe something on the left. Atakamiya, Yuki-chan. I see Yuki-chan. Let go. Cafeteria. I should get going. Let go. Whoa. Drinking Yuki her juice, Chan. apple juice. She's like, oh god. <laughs> Why? Why? Get I'm away from you. me. Uh -huh. I was just thinking about you. And now? 
Here you are. Destiny sure wants us to be together. What the hell are you talking about? So, Yuki-chan. Didn't I tell you not to call me that? Yeah, Yuki-chan. You did tell me not to call you, you that, like Yuki-chan. <laughs> I heard vitamin C helps keep you healthy. I'm not drinking it for my health, dumbass. Not Chan used to drink it, that's all. Gotta lay off the smokes anyway. So, I need something else to focus on. Hmm. Orange juice. I think it's orange juice. As, res as a replacement for cigarettes is a pretty good trade-off. How about a date? No. <laughs> no. Come on. One date. <sighs> you know, I came by bike today. Got it hidden away nearby. We could go somewhere right now. You know, honestly, this could come off as a kind of creepy, especially since you no. keep saying no, but... <laughs> uh... I think he knows when to stop. Maybe, I hope. How about the beach? Present it again? I know a place with a great view. Oh. I said no. One more time, what? one more time. You don't have any place you want to go? A place from back in the day? Somewhere with good memories? I don't have good memories. Only with Notchon. Got a place on your mind? Or is there a reason you can't go back? Of course not. I just got to thinking. Reminded me of my grandma on my mom's side. Haven't seen her since my parents divorced. You don't say. <sighs> you set me up. Well, let's go. What? Let's go see your grandma. What are you, nuts? She's not even in the city. Her place is in Hamanashi, a whole prefecture over. <sighs> That's what I Easy. thought, dumbass. It's too far. No, let's do this. I want to go too. That's just about a hundred kilometers one way. Huh? Come on. How fast is your thing? Hey! This is the perfect oh, chance to check something. After what I heard from the TV last night, I've got to find out. Ooh, ooh, what would you find on the TV? Oh, yeah, Yuki Minaba. Shukun, let me tell you where you are. What do you mean? I'm a home, this is my home house. right? That's not what I meant. Think bigger. I'm talking about everything you know. Hmm? Everything in this city. Everything you've lived. It's an isolated enclosure. Just 30 kilometers in diameter. Oh. Oh, that's pretty that's a big drop, like info drop. We can only move 30 kilometers like well the area's 30 meter 30 kilometers in diameter. Huh. That could explain how they're able to manipulate like the air. Huh. It does answer how they might be able to manipulate how we perceive time if they're able to just be able to adjust things within this range rather than you know actual time within the entire world sure hmm. but we still get news from all over the world fake news Telling fake news we're closed off no that's too much i don't buy it that's a reasonable reaction so i think you should go take a look yourself i'm going to unlock a part of the suabuki bypass you should now be able to see the truth <sighs> Go to, to the edge of the world, to the outer walls of the city itself. Hmm, so is like the world destroyed outside and the only place we're able to like see is within this 30 kilometer diameter? Anything outside is destroyed and everything inside is controlled? Huh. Whoa! Okay, so this reminds me of, well, spoiler warning, first of all. This reminds me of a scene in SSS, S, 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 Gridman or something. I forgot how many S's, I think there are four. Uh, where the characters find out they're actually enclosed within a city, and when they try to leave the borders, they just kind of fall asleep on the train and, like, loop back. I wonder if this is going to be the same. Ooh, I want to see the edge of the world here too. I wonder what this means. How do I agree to this? Sunset to Abaki Bypass. This is where uh, Miyuki Naba said that huh? she opened up. Do you ever think anything through on the Gucci? 
Hey, I can get us nope. back within two hours. Home before sundown, easy. Don't worry about it. How about you tell me a little bit about your grandma? She's out in the boondocks. Nothing but rice patties. Yeah? Used to go to her place every summer. Walking between the fields in the mornings to do radio gymnastics with everyone. No kidding! I did the same thing in the countryside when I was a kid. In the afternoons, Grandma would give us some watermelon. We'd swim in the river and catch fish with our bare hands. Then we'd go catch cicadas off the old Zelkova tree, up on the hill behind the house. That's weird. What? My grandpa had a Zelkova on the hill behind his house, too. And we'd go catch cicadas off it. Oh, yeah? Why don't you see your story and see if it matches up with mine? <laughs> I, I thought Taco was gonna say that. It sounds exactly like what I remember. Not that weird. Doesn't everyone remember the same stuff from vacations in the country? No, but that's exactly what is weird here. It's exactly the same. Oh wait, what? I can't do anything. Oh, are we slowing We're down? Almost 15 uh -oh. in the middle of the city. This tunnel should end around the prefecture line, so... Whoa! What the hell is this place? What's going on? Huh. This is what she was talking about. This sure doesn't look like a construction site. It just goes on forever, above and below. Oh, if this is an isolated environment, I kind of wonder if, if we are actually time traveling then, or if things are being reset I manually. Can't even see the end. Yo, uh, Ooh, where the hell are weird. we? Weird. The outer walls. But what the hell is it? How do we get through? I don't know if there is a way through. What if all our memories from outside town are fake? What if everyone's been convinced that an outside even exists? So much memory manipulation no in this way. game. I can't believe it either. How could I? It mean this 30 kilometer enclosure, this isolated city is the only world we've ever known. To be continued. Across the world in 30 kilometers? <laughs> Did not expect that. Wow. So we've, we've reached the outer walls. The borders of the world are only 30 kilometers. This has the potential to change everything, actually. Mm. Oh, I'm I don't know if the time stuff is actually real now. Mean. It probably still is real, but there are so many questions I have. I need I need this to I need this to connect with someone else's route. Cool. Let's head back in. <sighs> okay, so we did to the cafeteria, invite Takumi on a date, etc. Huh. We skipped the third one. Man. Miyuki Inaba was right about everything. There was a boundary, so here we are, in 30 kilometers of city. And beyond that, nothing. Wish I could pretend it was all a dream. My own private little adventure with Yuki-chan. Back in my dream... In this... She was right. We found that weird barrier on the edge of town. Maybe I should listen to her more carefully. We gotta open, we gotta turn on nice that TV first again. Date with Yuki chan. So much for that. Now I've got myself wrapped up in some huge conspiracy. <sighs> Used to be I'd just daydream about girls for a while and perk right up. Something tells me that's not really gonna work here. Right side? Nope. Back to the left. What's gonna stop us this time? Oh, nothing. Oh. One's gotta pop out then. Ah, oh, class one B. Tommy Kisaragi in there. Ah, oh, come on. What am I getting self-conscious for? It was just a dream. It's got nothing to do with anything I actually feel. 
But if I bump into dream? her, things could get awkward fast. <sighs> what I really need now is a cold drink. Just gotta grab a drink, sit down, Cafeteria. and chill out for a sec. I really hope that we see Jiro Karabi on this route. And maybe go back to the time when, um... Uh... When, like... Uh, when they were supposedly hanging out with Kyoto Shiba, because that Shiba reveal was so mind-boggling for me. Mind blown. Wonder if Yuki-chan's here. Aha, Yuki-chan. Hello. <sighs> Quit following follow. me. Let's go to that tunnel again. We gotta get it on video. Send it to TV stations. Blow the lid off this story. If that was real, we gotta tell everyone. Slow down. I got bigger fish to fry right now. Hold on. What bigger fish? Because what we found was a huge fish, man. What's bigger than that? <sighs> I got detention. Detention? I kind of bombed the quiz. I mean, so bad that they're saying my test scores and my transfer paperwork don't make sense. Because Usually they don't. I just ditch, but I just got into the same school as Nachan. I don't want to get kicked out over this dumb crap. Rejoin her in detention? Can we? <sighs> nope. It Could does not. Sugar Wait, boost. can we? Yeah. Little this is the break area. Right. Yep. All right. Hi, Okino, who I don't think we're going to interact with. Uh, hi. Hi, C. Oh, it's apple juice. All right. I remember. John's favorite. I remember Yuki drinking it on her route and saying it was apple juice, but I don't think of vitamin C. I don't think of apple when I think of vitamin C. So I rethought about it. I was like, oh, it's probably orange juice, but not. Can't sure. go wrong. A little sweet, a little sour. Man, I needed that. Okay. Let's think about this. I wonder if it would have affected, like, uh, what happened. Like, what if I chose, um, what if I chose milk, uh, milk coffee? I'm sold out. Hi, King. Oh, hey, last one. <sighs> Man, I needed that. Oh, that's a lot more boring. I want to... I'll go back. All right, I'll see you guys after drinking the high C. Woo! All right, what to do? Yeah, I only really see this going one way. I tell someone and they dump me in a psych ward. So what can I do? Tell Jiro Karabe. Whoa. My window security just updated and broke my ears. Oh, it was so loud. Oh, oh wait, is this the scene I was waiting for when Jiro... Oh, Okina was there too when it is hey, out. Yes! Could we hang out again today? You got it. Let's see. Why don't we go to your place this time? Yes, this is exactly what he said. Don't you have the place to yourself right now? I want to check it out. It's true, my grandma's away visiting relatives. Well, right now... So, Shiba would have normally been here, and this was... Okino also left during that scene. guest staying over. Oh, wow, I was able to skip it because I've already done it. Oh, alright, I guess, uh... Let's head home. And Kyoto Shiba is not here. Oh, the video game. The video game's gonna be on. Oh, right. Who's done already? <laughs> oh, what? Oh, 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 Sheba's not here. It's all a figment of his imagination. Confirmed. And the game's no longer on during the scene. Um. Shiba kept si Oh, actually, what, if I stand here... Okay, no, he's not gonna react to anything. But this scene is the one where um, Shiba was playing the video game that got me confused. He was like, there, someone did something 
at one point, like, Shibo is playing the video game, so this is, like, Shu Amaguchi should have seen that, especially if they, you know, if someone's playing a video game, the inputs have to be made. But I guess, I guess it was all in Karabe's head. Sorry, looks like all we've got is soda. This is where he talks about killing Yakushiji, Shu, and Yori, I think? Thanks, Amiguchi Koop. Wait for him to finish drinking. It's getting dark. Oh, I'm so glad they uh, addressed this. This was the one scene with Kyoto Shiba that was driving me nuts. I'm so glad it we got go addressed. Get dinner soon. You're coming, right? My treat. You no, I can pay for, for my, my own food. Last time, I feel kind of bad. Then what? You want to call it a day? I can still tag along. I'll just pay for my own food. Let's go. Oh. You watched the video I lent you? Hey, you recommended it. How could I not? Did you already finish it? What did you think? Kind of a campy plot. You've got this mad scientist who loses his real body, so he builds a new body and sets out, bent on revenge. It was interesting, but definitely not for casuals. <laughs> for a B-movie? That just proves it's a masterpiece. I love how they're saying the exact same dialogue. Uh, I remember we were on this side of the room we talked about it. I made that edit where Yakushi just comes in and is like, Jiro, get your ass home! Uh, what do I do now? Talk about it. Maybe I could tell Karabe Kun about the TV stuff? He's one of the only people who might believe me, but how do I even bring it up? Don't want to get this wrong. I know if I don't make myself absolutely clear, I'll just come off as a crazy fanboy. Actually, maybe I better keep my mouth shut. Aww. What's up? Just learning something about you. I figured you were only really into Western music. This is where he talks about his family too. Never thought you'd be into father. the idol scene. Miyuki Inaba. She's been really getting big lately, hasn't she? Uh, oh, that. I mean, you know how it is. I just got curious. I'm getting hungry. Did you want to just grab dinner and go home? Actually, uh, do you think I could stay a little longer? I'd really appreciate it. My old man's probably at his mistress's place again, and I'm all by myself here. Stay as long as you want. Thanks. Say, uh, any specific reason you don't want to go home? <laughs> How could she just come from the corner and be like, well, mm. Anyhow, <laughs> want to get food? We could swing by the video store, pick up something new to watch. Oh, speaking of, before I forget again, here you go. Your new set of memories. This one I brought with me. It's basically the sequel to that other sci-fi one. This story was meant for you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. For you and me. That's not what you said last time. What was that what he said last time? Memory transfer. Chu Amaguchi's dream. Tech Lab 6, 2100. Now, open your eyes, Jiro. Or maybe the name 426 would be more appropriate. Do you recognize me? Tetsuya Ida. Or at least an older version of him. I see him has gone a long time. You always seem to notice that whenever I wake you up. It's been three years since you died. Next year we enter the 22nd century. Find the pain receptors are all still there, at least. Oh snap! He's gonna torture information out so of him, really even though he's already dead. Cooperate. You are now an android. Your consciousness is stored on an electronic brain. So you pulled my data from Sector Zero, brought me back as a ghost. 
I brought you back because we need to talk. You clearly did the most work on that underground supercomputer. So we're gonna have a little chat about your research. Research logs added to the thought file. Let's talk about your final project. You were testing an unorthodox function for the interlocitor, downloading memories into a human brain. I'm picking up where you left off, so I'll need more details. Records say the memory transplant was a success, but all the raw data from the experiment was deleted. Why did you delete it? Did you hit some snag with the method? We're we gonna get any answers from him. Doesn't really have a reason to answer you, dude. Does he? Okay, maybe you're still a little groggy. Let's wake you up. Let's give him some pain. I inflict pain. This is where she's gonna, she's gonna get uh, possessed. I found out from Mori Morrison. You're trying to transplant my mind. You want to replace the Tomi Kisaragi of this world with me. Do you realize how horrifying that is? How could you? Wait, look. It'll mean you can be human again. It means you're going to sacrifice a living human girl. But she's you. It'll be your heart and mind going into your own body. What's wrong with that? <sighs> you know she's dead. The girl you're talking to, she's just a machine wearing Tomi Kisaragi's face. But your heart is real. You're still you. Don't you get it yet? The girl you knew will never come back. Even if, even if you steal her body and transfer my mind. Please, please, I, without you, I'm. You know I love you, but I can't support you. I can't support this. <sighs> That explains why you woke me up. It sounds like things aren't going according to plan. Who's that? Uh, well... I can tell you your biggest failure right now. Just a hacking right computer. There. You should never have revived her as an android in the first place. All you had to do was transfer her mind into a flesh body. You could have gotten everything you want. Nobody the wiser. Shut up! Juro Izumi. You're Juro Izumi. Prisoner 426, aren't you? Why did you wake him up? Same reason he brought you back. We're both his means to an end. Tools to be used and thrown away. Why him? Just had some technical things I wanted to check. Don't worry. I'll erase him as soon as I'm done. I had a couple more questions. But we'll get to them another time. I noticed you kept Kisaragi's memory from before transplanting her into the android. Hmm? Paranoia getting to you. You didn't need to keep so many backups. Strange move for a man who sees humans as replaceable hardware. Oh, he's getting into his mind, and Tommy's mind too. Maybe you had the same contingency plan for her. You could erase her and start over as much as you wanted. Uh. I've heard enough. No need to get emotional. After all, 
Me and your Kisaragi here are just data. All you have to do is reset us, and we spring to life, just like you did to me. <sighs> I'm erasing him now. Just keep your eyes on the console for me. Oh no, this is when he's gonna possess her. That's right. Better watch carefully. Never know what might happen. Oh no. There. Deleted. That turns to the girl with the red glasses. You know he was just trying to mess with our heads. Are you mad at me? You know he was just This isn't this can only turn out badly. Oh no. Oh knowing what happens in the other rounds is painful. No. She's off screen now. No. Oh no. Been remapped to the delete button. Guess he was too worked up to notice. Never oh, that data was transmitted. For me. And by one of my past uh, selves, no less. So, how are you doing? What happened? Hey, Kisaragi. Put him in the delete button. Oh, the no. view from the other side of that shell. A shame it might end up getting you deleted. And by the man you love, too. Oh. Very classical tragedy. Easy, son. Sorry, but I need this body more than you do. Oh my god. That's so trippy. You oh, messed up so bad. I must have fallen asleep watching a video. Looks like Karabe-kun went home. And the tape must have hit the end. It's automatically rewound. Ugh. The dream just now feels like it started off the end of the last one. But the last one being, um, when he turned Kisaragi into a robot, I, I guess. Wow, okay, we get answers for that. Okay. Hi, Miyuki Yanaba. saw the video. Hey, man, I'm not even surprised anymore. Are you still... The same Shu Amiguchi? Yeah, I saw it. But what are you talking about? What you saw wasn't a video. Everything you saw was real. All events of the distant past. Borrowed video has been added to Thought Cloud. Okay, hold on. I borrowed that video from Karabe-kun. So let's assume you're telling the truth. What's Karabe-kun's part in it? Everything. He's 426. Does he want me to see this stuff too? He's... He's the same as you. Watching the past unfold. Even if he has no idea. He doesn't know that it's why he keeps coming over. Or even that he's communicating with me. Wait, you talked to him? When? We were just hanging out, playing games, watching movies. That's how it appears to you, yes. So Karabe-kun's watching the past, too. Is that what these weird dreams are? Yes. So, wait. All these dreams look pretty futuristic. You're saying they were in the past? I keep yes. seeing that guy in my dreams. It's his past you're seeing. He resembles you greatly. His name is Tetsuya Ida. Okay, so now you've shown me all this crazy vision stuff. Now what? I have to find out what he's thinking, what he intends to do. If he's thinking of resetting the plan, then he has to be stopped. There's a plan? Okay, so what's this plan? <sighs> Come on, what have you got cooking? This isn't going to be some big evil scheme, right? Already is, Shub. It's Already not. is. It's called Project Ark. Oh, ho, ho. Is that so the universal something? Universal one? I don't remember. Maybe that's the arc, and that's what's uh 
transporting all the people away from the different timelines, like 2025, like 1945. Yeah. Oh. Oh. So, our, so in Minami's route, we were talking about how we might be the aliens. And how 2188 with like the future Minami and Miura might have actually been the past or on Earth, and we're actually like a reboot of them or something. You know or not, this plan revolves around all of you. Wow. To be continued. Akra, a Spectre reborn. Ryoko Shinonomi unlocked. Yoko shouldn't know me. Ah, Spectre of Born. Yo. Okay. I'm assuming one more for Shu Amaguchi. Ah, oh, it's always displaced. Hallway 2. So me and Karabe-kun, probably Fuyusaka too, the dreams we're seeing are actual events from the past. And it turns out this place is actually isolated? <sighs> And how do you know all this? Oh, you know, just the pop star Miyuki Inaba talking through my TV. Who the heck do I even talk to about this? If I just tell the truth, they'll throw me in a loony bin. Miyuki Inaba... Well, it's not just our names. He and I are totally different people. Kind of right. When Miyuki Inaba tells it, those dreams weren't from the future like I thought they would. They already happened. It's all in the past. The way she describes it, these aren't just dreams and videos Karabe-kun and I see. They're actual events that happened in the past. Well, there was a scientist who replaced his body to, like, an android body. The He's talking about himself? Ida. That was one of the movies that was mentioned. I just... Let's see what's on the right this time. I mean the left. Class 1A. Nope, not here. Well, she is occupied. Detention is a cruel mistress. I thought she had detention the other day, not today. Mm -hmm. Tomiki Saragi isn't here. Well, probably for the best, actually. Bumping into her now would be super awkward. Jiro Kurabe! Kurabe-kun. Amikuchi-kun. Hey, you going home? Perfect timing. See, um, about that video. Sorry. I'm kind of in a hurry. Oh, uh, it's cool. Huh? Oh, nothing. See ya. Kurabe-kun. Seems like something's up with him. Maybe he's figured something out too? Hmm. I kind of want to follow him. Maybe it's... Maybe this is after the, uh... <sighs> maybe I to Shiba thing. Air. Stay here. I want to see what happens if I go to the other side. If I can chase after Kurabe. No, I can't. I just need to get some fresh air. Air! Roof of the new building. Maybe. Maybe I should just go public. Lay everything out in the open. And then get mine wiped again by the men in black. I guess I could record Miyuki and Aba talking to me. Oh, you know, this is really cool how they, they clearly take a lot of influence from different sci-fi movies, but they are all events that actually happened in this in this timeline or not timeline in this universe so like the exterminator the Daimos, so like terminator and like godzilla etc stations different movie plots are actually canon in this universe although with you know copyright changes yuki is gonna be here maybe who's it gonna be oh it's Nenji. you so spaced out amiguchi uh, just got shit on my mind what about you? Something weighing you down? Yeah. Look like hell. You could say that. I remember there were friends in... I think it was Yakushiji's route when she had to shoot Amaguchi with the hey, magical uh, gun. Remember when I skipped school for a few days? What about it? Yeah, uh, I actually spent those days stranded in another time. Oh, this will be after Stuck Ninji's route. That's future. really cool. Huh. Well me, I'd go with a more plausible excuse for ditching. 
Oh no, this is he's referring to when uh, he was with Tomi Kisaragi yeah, and went to the future. That's about what I figured. So, what's going on with you? So this is the only thing I could do. Cool. Oh, you know that pop star Miyuki Inaba? She's been showing up in my room every night. I don't know what to do. Well, if you're gonna make me feel stupid for asking. Yeah, that's about what I figured. Yakushiji. <laughs> oh, right! This is when... <laughs> I love it when things connect. This is when Yakushiji wants to talk to oh, Shu Amaguchi. I totally forgot. What's up? Yakushiji-san from Class 1C. She said she wanted to talk to me today. Said she'd find me up here. Sheesh. Sometimes you're real annoying to be friends with. I was just talking about this. This is really cool. It's connecting. Oh my god, I love this game. I'll just get out of your way then. I'm gonna need like a timeline of stuff and how things okay. work out. Oh, just stuff from middle school. Girls used to confess their love to me this. in front of him all the time. Oh, I'm sorry. Really, I, I've got feelings for someone. That's mission accomplished. Sentinel number There we 20. go. <laughs> this is the same as Yakushiji's route. Where am I? <gasps> Wait a minute. Is this the robot I saw in my dreams? Whoa, shit, this thing falls! <laughs> Woo! And Karabi comes back, I think. Whoa, this shit flies! Whoa! Launch point looks to be Yai Men in black. Oh, that's Tetsuya Ida. Close to Sakura High School. There's no mistaking it. It's a sentinel. Notify all ministries and agencies, and the U.S. military. Tell them no scrambles. Showa-era weapons won't do much against a sentinel. We don't know who's on it or what their intent is. And call in Ryoko Shinonomi. Still ascending. Did it just fly off like that in the other route? I thought it like jumped over to like the background, but I pro I'm probably What's remembering it wrong. To do? Just trying sentinel. to find out what's happening. I believe that's the last aerial lightweight craft designed by Okino. I thought it never even entered production. Who is that? <sighs> okay, I was like, that's not gonna be a two to be continued, is it? Oh, are we in space? Space? No way! I knew I was going up, but I can't have gone that high. Altitude reading says 2,078 meters. You've bypassed the upper shield. You are now outside the enclosure. I'm outside the wall now? So, outside that, it's just... space? What does all this mean? I saw a lot of these huge robots in my dreams, but none of them could fly. That is Sentinel number 20. And you are its operator. Does Yakushiji work for you? The Sentinel was never meant to be transmitted. They found us. Who's they? Intruders from another district. They left Aww. their origin point and came to your world. Another district? Wait, there's more than one of these places? We need to hide the Sentinel. I can't do anything for you here. You have to go back to your sector. Go back how? This thing's got propellers. Whoa! We're going down! <laughs> Woo! Crash landing! Woo! Hey, Yuki-chan. <laughs> uh, what the? Amiguchi? Oh, hey, it's Yuki-chan. <laughs> I did say that. Yuki-chan. It. It's like I keep saying, we gotta be soulmates. Good timing, too. Kind of I'm about to pass out. Help, help me. Before I died. You're seriously still talking this crap, even now? Is that thing... Yours? M maybe? I, I, I think? Number 20. Transmitting. It's gone. I'm just glad I didn't crash somewhere with people. You gotta tell me what happened. We'll take over from here. Of all possible pilots, I'd never have expected you. 
Oh, yeah, this is uh, confronting himself. Four eyes. Wow, okay. Yeah, this is interesting. We're agents with the government. Allow me to be direct. Cooperate with us and I can guarantee your safety. If not, you will be institutionalized. You know something? I really, really hate being talked down to, especially from guys like you. Easy, Amiguchi. Yuki-chan, you know this guy? <sighs> she is a member of our organization. What? You were part of her assignment. She was sent to monitor pilots like you. That's why she was transferred to Sakura High School. <laughs> no way. Tell me he's kidding. Amiguchi. Oh. I suggest you I... cooperate. Sh for Takamiya's sake, if nothing ah, else. <laughs> oh, that was so cool seeing you connect with the other out. Yeah, we're definitely alive. Ah, second area Shibugaki, wave 10 as well. Nice, man, that was really cool. We're at 85% now. And maybe we'll find out more in Yuki Takamiya's.